moving well, forward uh, stay within the organization? That well, that's something that we will discuss uh, later on in the summer. Uh, give them some time to uh, adjust to this life. And I know it's difficult. I, I went through it. You, you, never, you never think it's going to end. But firstly, uh, class, uh, passion, uh, he's a real gentleman, uh, a real pro, uh, just a fabulous person. You know, it's a great heart, soul, uh, took care of the young guys, took care, you know, just a great example for everyone, not only on our team, but in this community and in this state, I mean, uh, and for the game, a uh, great ambassador. And uh, we're going to miss him in that regard. I mean, as far as his humor in the locker room and all of that stuff and his ability to make brilliant saves and win important games. Um, quite a career and quite a person. How did he break the news to you? Well, we had <laughs> casual discussions all the way through the from the end of the season. And uh, we let him breathe and let him make this decision, which is not an easy decision. Um, uh, and then he finally decided that it was the right thing to do, and um, you know, never easy, but I honor his cho his choice. And uh, you know, it's uh, like I said, he's a class act, and uh, uh, I wish him nothing but the best. And he's got a great family, and uh, like I said, we're going to miss him in the locker room. So yeah, he alluded to it in his in his letter yesterday that this is a pretty exciting time for you guys with Q here. And Right. What you may be able to do next week. How much harder do you think that made it for him with you guys? Maybe well, I think it's really difficult. I think he wants to, would probably want to play when, if and when we have success this um, this week, and what we might add to the team and bringing Q in here now and and uh, having a great support of Vinny and uh, you know the team's headed in the right direction, and I'm sure that uh, was bittersweet for him, but. You know, when I saw him try to get on the bus a few times last year, it was really, really tough for me to watch. And uh, I felt for him because I'd been through that myself physically at the end. And um, uh, I, I just, I don't know, it was tough to see. He, he wasn't himself at the end. He, he wasn't, didn't have the same humor. And it, it was a burden on him. He was, it was, you know, really tough on him to, to uh, rebound the next day and, and uh, play up to his capabilities. So... Uh, you know, I'm happy for him. I congratulate him on a great, great career, and um, I look forward to spending more time with him as the season, you know, before the season starts. And uh, hopefully that uh, he'll have some input in our organization moving forward. When you, you know, when he decides just to retire flat out, cut, cut it right there instead of LTIR, does that help things? And not, not I'm not talking about soccer cap because we know it does, but as far as being able to be around the team and in, 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 in a job related. Oh, I mean, I would, it's easier just to, to I would retire think so. him. In I would think so, you know. Uh, uh, so, you know, that's a decision. Uh, we told him we'd sit down with him any time, discuss the future and what he wanted to do, if he wanted to do anything at all. So it's up to him, and we'll uh, welcome him with open arms if he decides to come and, uh, and, and work with us. Uh, that would be a, a real honor. It seems like oh, there's no cloud around him. Like, oh, I got to yeah, do a physical. No, no. It's clean. If you want to retire his number, do it, whatever. Well, I think that might have something to do with it. I can't speak for him, but, uh, you know, you'll have to ask him that. But I'm glad he's chosen to do it this way, and I look forward to spending a lot of memorable moments with him. And you're able to clear up some money on the cap now going into Monday. Um, how important is well, it? Well, the, cap, the cap was lower to 81.5. You know, we, we thought it was going to be 83-plus, but uh, so that – that's in effect too. So, um, you know, we're we're having a lot of conversation with a lot of different people about a lot of different positions, and I, I dread this. I hate this week. To tell you the truth, I look forward to Monday to get some results. Do you like the the fact that you can no. legally talk to guys? Though? No, I don't. I'd rather have you know maybe two days, but I don't want a whole week after a, a long hard w work week in Vancouver and flying back here and having to discuss this with the agents for a week. Uh, it's not a lot of fun. <laughs> How are you confident that Monday, 12 o'clock, that you'll have a couple of, the, uh, at least two or three of the players that you're looking at? We, we hope so. We've, we've uh, let's put it this way, we've spent a lot of fertilizer out there, and I'm pretty good at that. So <laughs> uh, we're hoping that, uh, you know, a little water and a little rain, that uh, it'll come to boom. But, uh, yeah, we, we, we're confident we're going to get uh, make our team better. 
And, uh, you know, we're trying to hit some home runs here, but if we have to hit three singles to score a run, we'll, have, we'll think about that too as well. We're, we're going to do everything we can to possibly get better and, and get Q the players he needs to get us to the promised land. It doesn't discourage you that maybe some of the players reportedly came here and then talked to other teams. That doesn't discourage you? Well, they have every right to do it. They have 31 options. So if I was a free agent, I would uh, utilize everything. And you only get that opportunity once in your life. And I can't blame them. I mean, the fact that they gave us the opportunity to speak with them, uh, that speaks volumes as well because there are a lot of teams that aren't, aren't being spoken with. How do you feel those meetings went earlier this week? Well, we, we, we told them our plan. We told them what we, our goals were and how we were going to do it. And uh, I think they appreciated it. Uh, just, it's just a matter of what the other teams uh, BS them about. But you got, yeah, it is a sales job. Right. What are you selling right now? So other than I'm selling a great future, and I'm selling a great coach and a great young talent of the team and uh, a wonderful place to play and all those things. I mean, uh, taxes, all those. <laughs> Obviously, you've, you've courted some guys, but have you received attention from agents, players who are interested without you courting them? You want to see my phone and see the ledger? I mean, it's it's nonstop. It's been there since noon on Sunday. It's been uh, amazing. Uh, so that's a good thing. I look at it as a positive that a lot of players want to come and play here because they see the direction we're headed and what, what the core group that we have and what we're committed to doing. How cautious do you have to be, though, when you are laying out the plan? Because people talk to other people and then stuff that you hope Yeah, yeah. Well, you have to rely on your staff to be uh, – Transparent, and uh, you know, we I trust our, our staff, and uh, they, they know that keep their yap shut and their eyes and ears open. And, uh, you know, that's it's never easy, but you know, we, we do a good job about that. Okay, as much as you hate the whole week right now, just to watch these young guys here, that's kind of yeah, I'd rather be spending more time with these guys and watching our young kids. It's a great group we have in here. I mean, they're big, they're fit, they're strong. They're, so we're, uh, we're, you know, I'd like to spend more time with them and watch this, but you do what you have to do, and uh, it, it, that's what the rules are, and so we follow the rules and do what we can. What do you get the most out of these developmental camps right here? Well, I think they get to know us. It's a relationship-building event, really. You, your future teammates, uh, your future coaches, trainers, the whole deal, all of us get to know them better. They get to know, you know, uh, that we're here to help them get to the next level. It's kind of rewarding to spend time with these young guys. It rejuvenates you, and uh, uh, it, it's one of my favorite times of the year. And uh, I wish I could spend more time with them, but uh, that's uh, it's an exciting time for our franchise. I think we're very deep now in, our, in all positions after this last draft, and uh, uh, it's it's going to be very competitive from here on to make our team. How difficult is it when you're looking at free agents? You're, yes, we know you've got $24 million, but you've also got stuff down the road. How much are you? Yeah, weighing that's the a future? great point, George. I mean, I don't want to block Denisenko or Tippett or Noel or uh, Spencer Knight or any of our guys. That uh, you have to be careful how you balance that. And plus, we have our own guys; their contracts are up in a few years, and so we want to make sure that we keep this going for a long time. That we do the right thing as far as uh, the role, the changeover, and who who stays and who goes, and uh, how long these terms of these contracts are so that you don't interfere with the development process. Yeah, I mean, it's easy. You know, you've got a lot of money now. It's, you see a lot of teams in salary cap. It doesn't only. take long to go, right. you know, and so you've got to be very careful in managing that cap. And when you look out there and you see these young guys, can you picture already in your mind, like, oh, that would be a nice combination. This will be yeah, yeah, we, already, we have all kinds of different scenarios, but, you know, even on the big club, and uh, like Joel and I just talked about, Joel says, who do you think out of this group might be able to surprise and make our team, regardless of when they were selected? And I said, well, there are a th few names that I think have a good shot, a legitimate shot, if they have good camps. Uh, so it's exciting. This is a big group, big, tough group, and uh, we, we've answered a lot of, of uh, our holes. we filled a lot of our holes, I should say, as far as depth on the blue line and, and goal and uh, we added some size and strength in the forward line so it was a real good draft for us it was a very versatile draft and we selected a lot of guys that we uh, we got a lot of guys that we had hoped we would get on our draft list and uh, we're, we're very satisfied with it well we've been together every day uh, discussing about possible lineups and possible free agents and who fits and who doesn't and who he likes and doesn't like and uh, 
then I go out and do what I want to do anyway. But no, <laughs> no, he's we, we listen. He's the best coach in the business, uh, so why not utilize him in every decision-making process? And that's how we operate anyway. So, you know, to have him on board is exciting because his knowledge is incredible and his opinion is very valued, and we're going to work together, and uh, our goal is the same. How much has he been in, like, in on the meetings, that kind of thing? He's been in every meeting that I've been around, especially since he, when he's around at the draft here. We nonstop on the phone. Uh, we've been talking together. You know, every day for long periods of time, discussing all kinds of possibilities. Obviously, he's a selling point. We talked about the day you had. Yes, him. definitely, big time, right? For the, uh, the undrafted uh, invites here, what, what does this camp mean to them? Well, it's an opportunity. That's what we sell. We sell opportunity. If, uh, once you're drafted, that's no one will ask you where you were drafted after you. You know, where are you playing and what are you doing? And it's competition. Some guys are late bloomers, so we tell them that. No, we first round, ninth round, free agent doesn't matter. The best players are going to play, so that that's what we tell our kids in that meeting last night before we started this. There are 40 kids here. You all have an equal opportunity. Doesn't matter where you were drafted or if you were undrafted at all. It depends on how badly you want to play in the NHL for the Florida Panthers. Does, does, does 81.5 instead of 83 take you out of play for anything? Or well, I mean, it tightens it up a little bit. Uh, you know, obviously. If we hit all uh, cylinders and get everybody we want, then we'll have to do some stick handling with some of the current players. But, uh, you know, it's under almost $2 million difference. It's, that's a good hockey player. So, yeah, it affects not only us, it affects everyone. And as far as tomorrow's the buyout ending, you know, the buyout ends tomorrow um, or well, whatever, Sunday? Sunday, Sunday yeah. Sunday, yeah. yeah. So how much time do you have to make things work before you have to look Maybe that route. Well, it has to be done before Sunday at, at uh, five o'clock. So I guess Saturday we'll make a final decision on that. Um, it was a lot of fun getting to see some of the old guys and uh, meeting some new ones. Um, yeah, I felt good. Uh, been uh, getting some work in the summer and uh, it's been good. Injuries overcame. And... Yeah, I had a tough one at the end of the year there. Um, yeah, it was just some head stuff, but um, took the time that I needed and treated it well and. Uh, so I will get back and recover with uh, nothing else, uh, no uh, long-term effects. This is the first time out on the ice since then, correct? No, no, I've been skating, getting ready for camp and uh, working on some stuff, so. Dale said it's wide open right now. He's looking at everyone. Do you feel your opportunities are there? Yeah, I mean, uh, right now my plan is to go back to school. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to make a good impression on uh, you know, Coach Q, a new new coach, and he's a, been a legend in the game. So I'm just trying to make a good impression. You know, first time they they're seeing me play, and uh, um, you know, just trying to come in and do everything I can do to show um, what I can do. That was Brutus. Yeah, yeah, I re renewed my membership. Uh, I think it was last month. Yeah, Brutus again. So. Uh, Spencer's gonna be playing with you this. Yeah, yeah. We you know we're really really lucky to get him. Um, I've read a lot of stuff on the internet. Like he's one of the best um, goalie prospects in a long time, and um, you know, uh, coaching staff did a great job recruiting a really good freshman class to come in this year. So um, he's great, great player from what I've uh, seen, and getting to know him this week's been good. And uh, I'm really excited to be able to be on his team next year. He's been asking a lot of questions. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been giving him the rundown. Uh, freshman housing. Uh, he's got orientation soon, so I'll be up there. Go say hi. Uh, just get, giving him uh, all the details. He's asking a lot of questions, which is good. It means he's excited. I think more and more they understand that your love for wildlife, manatees, your your teammates. They understand that now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, like I just uh, like uh, like being like from Florida and like coming back and seeing my family every year. Uh, uh, you know, it's just uh, kind of part of it, I guess, because uh, everybody loves the beach and loves the ocean and. Uh, yeah, that's just that's just part of uh, I guess my family and uh, what we like to do. So, has that always been with manatees? Can you explain that? Um, yeah, like my mom always loved manatees, like the county we live in and uh, and uh, our side of state and where my mom grew up is Manatee County. So uh, you know that's just kind of she kind of like introduced me to them at a young age, I guess. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of been my mom and I's thing. And um, so yeah, I guess it came from her. Um, I think like confidence and just coming into camp, knowing some guys, and 
uh, having that experience from being here last year and just having that confidence is a kind of uh, it's huge for this camp. Maybe a little more on that, just what it uh, means, I guess. How much easier is it going through this the second time? Yeah, well, I got uh, guys I know like Greg Morales and uh, Danelle Antropov here, so um, you know it's good to have guys you know and you play with and. Just makes the whole experience that much better. If you look at the season you had last year. What kind of confidence are you you coming into this camp and then the next camp? I mean, you've got a couple camps coming up here. Yeah, um, it was obviously a pretty good season, but um, you know we got out in the third round there, and I'm hoping that uh, next year, if I'm back in the OHL, that uh, it's it's really our year. We got a good group of guys back in Oshawa, and uh, we could really do some damage next year. So you're not looking any further than going back next year, or do you think that? You know, I'm, I'm just kind of focusing on getting better and, you know, talking to the coaches and learning as much as I can this this camp and and uh, training hard over the summer and trying to give myself a best shot of, uh, you know, being here full time. What have the Panthers told you about, you know, how things have developed? Obviously, they signed you to your ELC pretty, you know, late last season, but earlier than they probably needed to. That had to feel pretty good to get it done. Yeah, um, it was obviously really exciting to get that done. and. Uh, just, you know, the work kind of starts now and, uh, um, you know, they've given me a lot of good advice and, and told me not to, uh, to be confident and to, to know that I'm, I'm here and that I can, I definitely have a shot if I put in the work and, and get better. Is that a, it's got to be a good feel to know, hey, they notice me, they know who I am, this is, it's up to me right now, right? Yeah, uh, it's just really exciting, you know, every, like you said, it's, it's, it's all uh, based off of what I do, so, um, you know, I'm going to, Go back home and work hard this summer, and obviously keep working, and getting better here, and, and learning as much as I can, and you know, trying to come into main camp and turn some heads a little bit. Yeah, where does that does that start? Here does that start? Rookie camp in a couple in next, you know, whenever September. Or? Yeah, it definitely starts now. Um, just every day from from now on, just uh, like this week, just taking everything the coaches are saying and all the the great people here that are working hard to get us better, and you know, learn from it and uh, take that into my summer training and. And then come back in main camp and uh, apply all the things that I learned. What do you plan on training? I train back in Ottawa with uh, with my trainer and in, in Ottawa where I'm from. Getting out there for the first time is definitely unbelievable. Uh, you know, I was just trying to take it in as much as I could and uh, you know just learn from the coaching staff and just go out there and do my best. Does it feel different when it's a camp like this and you know there's all the top guys are here? Um, personally, not really. I think you know just coming in with the same. Uh, mindset and attitude that you come to, you know, the rink with every day. I think you know that's the key to uh, you know being successful and um, not trying to get caught, too caught up in the moment. What's the the last? I guess the last few days been like. You go from getting your name called at the draft to getting ready for this camp to, to now here you are. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, I got back and then I decided I want to go skate a couple more times. So I actually drove up to University of Wisconsin where I'll be going next year. So my flight got in at nine. Uh, Went straight up there, got them there at midnight, and then the next morning I skated at 7.30, uh, worked out, did some bike sprints, and then skated again at 6. Um, got off the ice at like 7.30 and drove straight back home, and then I had a 5 a.m. flight the next morning here. So um, definitely, you know, haven't had too much time to relax. Uh, you know, I was just trying to prepare myself the best I could for uh, this opportunity and uh, just trying to show everyone uh, who I am. And, and goals here for the week, just in terms of taking it in, what are, you, what are you looking to learn here? I think just, you know, just going out there and, you know, doing my thing. Um, you know, obviously there's great talent, a lot of great individuals out there. So uh, just, you know, watching them and then trying to, you know, take a little parts and aspects of their game and trying to apply it into your game. I think that's the key. You are going to college, so it was that important, though, to look to make a great first impression here. Yeah, I think, you know, being a college uh, athlete, you know, you have limited opportunities to really showcase your talent compared to, uh, you know, CHL guys. So I think uh, just going out there and, you know, trying to prove myself to the Panthers and, um, you know, make them, make them positive and, uh, you know, assuring that I was the right pick. Did you take a glance over at the window and see Coach Q in there? No. Um, yeah, I think, you know, uh, you know, as the first couple laps, I was just trying to take it all in, uh, seeing all the fans around the rink. That's something new. I uh, never, never really had that many fans at practice. So, you know, the first couple laps, I was just trying to take it all in. And then after that, I was just trying to get to work. Define your game a little bit and some of the things you need to work on. Elevate mm -hmm. the yeah, I think, you know, I'm a really reliable two-way player. Uh, you know, versatility is a big part of my game, playing wherever on uh, the lineup and then doing whatever it takes to help the team win. I'm a huge team player, and then 
Um, you know, I like to use my wide speed uh, to help get to loose pucks and then uh, create out of there. And then I think, you know, the biggest aspect of my game I've really been working on is, uh, you know, like my puck skills and stick handling. Uh, the past two years, I've put in a lot of extra work. And then this summer at the University of Wisconsin, going forward, that's, uh, you know, the, the main aspect of my game that I want to keep improving. Yeah, definitely. I think everyone's on an even level when you get here. And uh, everyone's got to work as hard as they can to earn a spot on this team, make an impression. There's a perception of you that you like to battle. And if you go to hockey, fights.com, there's a lot of yeah. battle. Mm -hmm. But the Panthers say you're more than just that. Yeah, well, uh, it's definitely a big part of my game. I'd say I'm a hard-nosed player, and I'm uh, not going to take it easy on anyone. But uh, a lot of people don't don't know about. It. I got a little bit of offense in me, and uh, I plan on showing that in the future. What was your uh, your draft day like? It was amazing. You know, I uh, didn't really know if I was getting drafted or not. No one had been talking to me, so um, it was it was honestly a surprise. And when I found out, I was uh, beyond excited. So you weren't didn't have any inkling that it could have been the Panthers? Uh, no, um, I hadn't really talked to any teams. My agents weren't really talking to me, and um, so I had no idea, to be honest. It's like when the coach Q is out there looking through the window. <laughs> you feel a bit of pressure, but uh, you know you got to work hard and put on a show. What's it been like the last couple of days getting ready for today? Uh, it's a lot of preparation, you know, mentally and physically. You want to. Make sure you're at the top of your game when you come here. But um, I've been enjoying it and taking it all in, and it's been a good experience. What was it like to, to get that, that phone call when you did find out that your name had been called? It was surreal. I was, almost had tears rolling down my face because it's, uh, it's been a dream of mine to play in the NHL one day, and this is just bringing me one step closer. What, what do you know about this team? This team has a lot of young guys and looking to get a lot of home. Yeah, I know uh, they've been in a slump for the last few years or so. And so um, you know, it's got a good young core coming in here, though, so the future is looking bright. You said you want, to want them to know there's more to your game, which they have said, yeah. than just fighting. But do you need to establish yourself as, as a guy that's out there that, that can defend and also protect other guys? Definitely. That's that's my first priority. Um, I, I want to make sure the puck's out of our net because I'm a defenseman. And I take big pride in that. So it's a defense first for me. And then uh, when we get chances offensively, I want to try and help out there too.